Hi, I'm Dana Merritt, and thank you for tuning in on Math Made Fun the Merritt Way. Today, we're going to talk about when you take a set of cards and you open up a set of cards, you're going to notice that there are 68 cards. There are 68 cards because we have these cards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 0 in there, plus we have a guarantee. And with the cards, there's also going to be the guarantee and then the face cards. For today, I would suggest that you go ahead and remove those cards because we're going to talk about three different games that would be beneficial for very young children. I'm going to suggest that you take one set of cards. I'm going to take the diamonds, but it doesn't really matter which set you would use and then lay the other card aside and then I want the children to become really good at knowing their numbers and being able to do their numbers in the right order. So you'd want to practice with the children so they'd be able to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they should practice doing that with you several times and have fun and enjoy it and then you're going to play, teach them the game, name the missing number. What you'd want to do is you would want to take the cards and you would take four cards and lay them out in such a way that as you lay out the cards, you want to do it in the left to right progression, which is best for the children. You lay out a card, five, six, turn one card down, and this is eight. And you'd want to play the game with the children. What's the missing number? And as they look at this, and as they good, get good at their math skills, they will be able to tell you that that's the number seven. So as they turn this card over, and they see it, say it, and recognize it's seven, it would be so good for their brain. Amazing things would be connected. And so as they play this game, name the missing number, they will get better at knowing their numbers and being able to have them in the proper order. Another game that's fun to play with children, young children, is hungry alligator. I would suggest that you take an alligator and you'd show them that this is a hungry alligator. He wants to eat, eat, eat. And what I would suggest is taking one set of cards and say it's the spades, one through ten. And as you lay out the cards, what you want to do is lay out two cards and there's the ten and lay out the five. And you would say that with this hungry alligator he wants to eat the bigger number. What's the bigger number? Does he want to eat the number 5 or does he want to eat the number 10? And so you could do that with the actual alligator, but I really like taking a card and laying it out in green and showing the little teeth and show them which is the bigger number that the alligator would want to eat. And you would have them put it down and as they put it down, you'd encourage them that that's right, 10 is the bigger number. And then I would strongly recommend that you teach the children to say this the American way. They should say that 10 is bigger than 5. And as they go through all of these different cards and practice doing that, they'd want to get really good at being able to recognize all of the numbers and not recognizing instantaneously. How should they put that mouth? They should put the mouth this way. And then they'd say that 1 is smaller than 7. So the first game is name the missing number. The second game is hungry alligator. The third game that we want to review with you is the game Go Fish. Go Fish is a classic game. And with the game, the way we'd recommend it is you would just use the cards 1 through 10. And as you use the cards 1 through 10, shuffle them up. And then what you want to do is you would deal out the cards, and as you deal out the cards, you would give five cards to the child and five cards to yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Lay the cards down, and then as the child is going to pick up the set, they're going to hold the cards, and you're going to ask them to name uh, the card. And as they would say, do you have any, and as they ask you, they're going to get good at recognizing the names. And normally in the game Go Fish, you want to have four 
cards to make a book. But for the younger child, just let it be two. And if they go to ask if you have a number, and if they say, do you have any fives, then if you don't, you would tell them, go fish, they would come over, and if they pull a five, which we didn't, they would keep this card in their hands and keep playing until they get books. And as they play Go Fish, they're going to get really good at naming the cards. They'll get very good at recognizing the numbers, and they'll have fun. So with these three games, Name the Missing Number, Hungry Alligator, and Go Fish, your children will get really good at recognizing their numbers, understanding the concepts 1 through 10, greater than, less than, and recognizing number concepts. So thank you for tuning in, and if you'd like to learn more, go to www.themeritway.com. Thank you.